Hello! You know who I am, don't you not? Yeah. No, there's one in the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's the title of the show, darling. You can say Cancer! Cancer! Yes! <laughs> got it! Well done, we've got a literate one. <laughs> <laughs> Cancer, cancer. The idea, I, it was a complete fluke. I just stepped on stage one day and uh, had them introduce me as Cancer with the idea that I would say to the audience, my name is Cancer and I understand that you have something you'd like to say to me. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Meeting me for the first time, right, face to face, that's you. That's huge. Right? That is huge. Right? That is life-changing. Right? That is life -changing stuff, darlings. I've always wanted to... Uh, help people find a new perspective when they think of cancer. When my father passed away of cancer, he brought a very different perspective, and this show is an opportunity to hopefully uh, help some people who might still be very angry or upset or uh, in denial even uh, get to the next stage, which is uh, ultimately acceptance. Not trying to be egotistical. No, not egotistical, no ego on him. No, it's just a fact, right? Seeing you for the first time, it's gonna blow your fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> He's arrogant and egotistical and, and charming and disgusting and all these really wonderfully fun things to play. And uh, then I had someone come up to me after that show and say that they had just been going through two years of chemotherapy, I think it was he had said, and, and he was having a really hard time. And he said, um, you know, I haven't laughed at cancer. And that performance, uh, helped him to laugh at it. And... All right. Did you ever think that you would find yourself sitting in the dark with cancer? <laughs> <laughs> What's that like, eh? What is that like? Take a moment and experience it. Why not? What's it like? Yeah, well, I think it's a Joseph Campbell thing, actually, about taking the flashlight into the darkness, into the dark places. Um, you know, and they talk about the, the cave of the consciousness and the psyche and how it's dark and scary in there and we create all these kind of demons and monsters for ourselves. But when you kind of shine the flashlight on them, you know, 90%, 99% of the time it's just a reflection of yourself, which is really the scariest thing. You wait! You wait! All right. Imagine, if you will, imagine, drop dead fucking handsome. <laughs> When your commitment gets challenged, then you really start to realize uh, how deep you're in <laughs> and how, how deep are you willing to go. And it can be, It's like being on the edge of that sort of precipice, and that's what this show feels like a lot of times. The moment right before I step on stage, I feel that precipice of, okay, are you committed to this? Because there's going to be people out that you're performing for tonight who are not ready to hear what you have to say and who are angry walking in, and they're going to be angry walking out. And how committed are you to that? and to following through, and telling those stories, and not being afraid to tell those stories. We, we, we want, want cancer! Maybe I looked it up. <laughs> I am the one you think about at night. I 